Okay, so what we have here is the Potter PSN 106 power supply. It's got 10 amps of power, six uh, supervised NAC outputs. And the cool thing about this that I'm going to be doing a demo on today is the fact that you can uh, sync multiple manufacturers off the same board. And this is a technology that Potter refers to as uh, QuadraSync. So for the demo, uh, you can use basically Gentex, Potter's uh, devices, system sensor, and wheel lock, and they'll all be able to sync up off the same power supply. So for today, since I only have in stock wheel lock and system sensor strobe, I'll do a demo with those two to show you that uh, it's possible. So basically this is the board. Normally uh, it might look a little different. Normally these come in a red cabinet, but we got them in black. So as you can see, the board itself is really uh, quite small. And what I've done here is just uh, got a patch cord to plug it into the wall just to, for the demo. And I've got two circuits coming out here on NAC1 and 2. Uh, NAC1 is going to the wheel lock strobe over there and NAC2 to the system sensor. And the way I'm going to just activate this is I'm just jumpering, jumpering a 24 volt output uh, into the trigger over here. So it's just going to be constantly on. Now the way you achieve all this, uh, these settings is you can see here that they have individual dip switch settings for each of the six um, NAC outputs. So I've gone ahead and set the trigger input to constant and the switch one, S1 up there to uh, wheel lock and S2 to system sensor. I'm not going to get too much into detail on the settings. You can find that in the manual once you uh, play with one of these things. But I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and uh, give it a shot. So see it comes on. And if we look over here, it's hard to see from the video. Give it a sec here. I don't know if you can tell from the video or not, but they are both synced up. And it's not trick photography, it is in fact a wheel lock strobe and a system sensor strobe syncing off the same power supply with no sync modules or anything uh, extra. Um, I really wish I had a Gentex device here to show you all three, but unfortunately I don't have one. So anyway, uh, if this doesn't sell you on this power supply, I don't know what would. This thing's pretty uh, bad with 10 amps of power and the ability to do stuff like this for retrofits. It also has the reference EOL, which a lot of power supplies are doing now, so that makes it nice for retrofits as well. And another cool feature it does um, is the ability to have a memory for the troubles. So there is a dip switch you can set on this. I didn't set it for this particular demo, but if you're trying to track a trouble situation on this panel, such as a ground fault or a particular NAC circuit that's going in and out of trouble intermittently, this thing will keep track of it so when you show up to the service call and the panel is normal, you can go through the, the memory and see which of the circuits was giving you that trouble condition so it makes it a little bit easier to track it down if the trouble is not present at the time of uh, your arrival to that call. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos. Uh, hopefully some more demos coming soon.